What's good, Josh Warhawks? Back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out top ten oversellers in WWE history by none other than Wrestling Flashback. This should be a good one. There's probably gonna some be uh, probably gonna be some clips that I've probably seen or checked out before. But who doesn't love a wrestling like like the overselling? Like I find those be the funniest part in a wrestling match sometimes when a wrestler be just selling like crazy. Sometimes it's it's funny and then sometimes it could possibly overdo it. Kind of takes you out the match. Either way, this should be a good video. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Roll to 100K. Let's do this. Is this on? The term sell in wrestling refers to being on the receiving end of a move and then making it look realistic. Yep. The wrestler is selling the idea that they're hurt to the people watching the match. Over the history oh of pro wrestling, God. a handful of superstars have garnered a reputation for being too good at selling, sometimes to their own detriment. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. But when somebody oversells a move, <laughs> it means they're going a bit far with it. Yeah. <laughs> Some oh, come on, like bro. It, some people don't. <laughs> this thing is there's no denying that it could be downright hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so in this video, I break down the top 10 oversellers in wrestling history. <laughs> what is that, bro? Come on. Salute. <laughs> you gotta salute Stone Cold when you get stunned. Special mentions go out to Greg the Hammer Valentine. Mr. <laughs> your ass down. Watch out, atomic drop. <laughs> and a big right hand. And a side up the hammer. Headbutt. That'll help him out. And down. <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler. He is hoisted over the top. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> And the beast, Brock Lesnar. Hey, oh god damn! Hey, Brock is good at selling, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Number 10, Triple H. Oh, there boy. is no doubt that Triple H is one of the best inside the squared circle, mm -hmm. but he's been known to oversell on a number of occasions. Whether it's his classic turnbuckle bump, it's yeah, the turnbuckle bump. he flips outside the ring. Yep, boom. That's classic Triple H. Damn, cameraman fail. The selling of the Stone Cold Stunner competing with The Rock. Who? <laughs> or his own version of the flare flop. Yep. The game might have taken the selling a bit far at times. Yeah. But there was no denying that it was so entertaining <laughs> and still remembered. <laughs> that shit was funny when Sean was trying to blow him up. <laughs> hey, fall, bro. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh. <laughs> Number nine. Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase was considered one of the finest in <laughs> workers of his generation. Oh, God damn. DiBiase was regularly the victim of hot tag comebacks by the good guys. <laughs> He'd frequently bounce around the ring and act like he just got knocked out. He was also notable for perfecting a forward and backward flip on the mat. Oh, wow. Look at that. In particular, from his failed double axe handle from the turnbuckle. Oh, God Number damn. Eight, Scott Hall. As Razor Ramon, he oh, yeah. didn't go too over. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, Scott Hall. He, he, was, he had some oversell moments. I hope they had the Stone Cold Stunner Club. Bored with the selling. But when he made the move to WCW, Scott Hall would frequently take it too far in the most hilarious way possible. Here we go. And he connects both times. The facial expressions combined with the failing <laughs> around the ring yeah. were so entertaining to watch. I've never seen a human being do anything like this in my Bro, life. look at... Bro, what is all... Whoa! This has never been done in our sport. Kevin Nash better be a... <laughs> Have a look back at his uncensored 1998 match with Sting, and some would say it was Shawn Michaels and Hogan-esque in terms of overselling throughout the match. Yeah, Even look at this. Even when he made this. his way back to the WWE in 2002, he didn't disappoint. <laughs> Oh, 
Hit him with it again. Yes! <laughs> Number was, seven, Billy it. Gunn. Billy Gunn used to love bumping around the ring. <laughs> flipping and flapping like he was in a pinball machine. Some of his most infamous oversells include what? the unique sell of the Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> running headfirst into the corner post. Damn! <laughs> flipping in the air when taking a clothesline. Oh my god. There for Mr. Oh yeah, they're flipping from the. There's no design. denying Beautiful. that Billy Gunn had some amazing oversells. Number six, D Von Dundee. Oh, he Von Dundee selling loved the sale. I mean, if you haven't seen him selling that chair shot from ECW as if he was having a seizure, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he also mastered the classic leg tremble when getting yep. hit with a high five. move. I think it just be twitching, bro! <laughs> as well as frequently going into convulsions, which would be called out by the commentators. <laughs> His overselling was so good that years later, Xavier Woods yep. even imitated him. Yeah, he hit it. With the 3D through the <laughs> Now, before we go on to the top five, let's reminisce on some of the true MVPs when it comes the to refs. overselling. I'm talking the about refs. referees, yes. managers, and announcers. <laughs> When it comes to overselling, I'm talking about the referees, <laughs> managers. <laughs> bro, he over here slow stroking the ring. <laughs> and announcers who really in the ring with the fast pumps. Perfected the art <laughs> over the years. Oh, no. oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dude, I love this video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Oh, no. oh. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Get a <red. laughs> He didn't even hit. So slow. He didn't even get hit by him. Look at look at the announcer falling so slow. One more time, bro. Hey, my amigo. Look at this. No tiene medido. Oh no. Le dieron a mi amigo. Oh no. Oh no. My amigo. I'm done. Oh my god. Number five. Rick Rude. Ravishing oh. Rick Rude was known for his extremely shredded oh. upper body and his ability to work inside the squared circle and bump all over the place. I'm done, Whether bro. he was being tossed from pillar to post or bearing the crack of his ass for the world to see, Rude knew how to turn it up to 11 when it came to selling a story. He was so known for his dramatic overselling, what the there hell? was even a Twitter page devoted to his selling of the atomic drop. Wow, really? Why does he hit that pose? Atomic drop! Sending Rude in. Atomic drop! Why does he do that? 
Jim Ross, you want to see what that feels like. I'll pass. I'll take your word for it. What a legacy to leave. Oh Number four, man. The Rock. Oh, of course, WWE The Rock. WWE fans have shared videos, GIFs, and social media posts of The Rock's <laughs> classic selling countless times as the years go on. Rock was among the few wrestlers that reached the highest level who cared more about making his opponents look good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love the rock selling, bro. The infamous sells for the Stone Cold Stone, Stunner yes. will live in infamy for Rock's over-the-top selling. Yep. While the Stunner is a great move itself, the Rock added a special effect, effect to it. Yeah. He used to flip all the way across the ring as if he'd been hit by a <laughs> train. <laughs> I love it. I love it, bro. <laughs> what? He mentioned that he did this because he and Austin would bet cases of beer on how crazy Rock could get with his sell of the famous stunner. Oh, Austin got the stunner. <laughs> got the stunner. Oh, stand up, stand up. Hit him with it. <laughs> Number three. Oh, Ric, Ric Flair. Flair definitely the has to be in this Ric list. Ric Flair is one of the most entertaining wrestlers ever, <laughs> be on the mic or wrestling. Ric Flair actually sold moves in a very humorous way. Yeah. Sometimes, which many often felt as overselling. Yeah. He took those simple moves and tried his best to make them look dangerous. At the time, it definitely worked. But looking back, it's hilarious because of how far the business has come since Yeah. Then. Bro, he would hit the walk and then fall, bro. That's always been funny to me. And then just From a flop. chop to the chest. To an Irish whip in the oh. corner. Flair would sell it all. Flair did the turnbuckle spot in nearly every match. Yep. What he would do is put his hands on both sides of the middle rope by the turnbuckle, turn his body upside down, and then go over the top. Mm -hmm. He's also infamous for his exaggerated flare flop. After being on the receiving end of a barrage of strikes from foes, Rick would stumble out of the corner and fall flat on his face in comedic fashion. Offensively, Eddie Guerrero, I talked to him before the big oh, no. <laughs> championship matches. Where goes face? <laughs> <laughs> made a Hall of Fame career out of embellishing the impact of many moves, but it also helped him become loved by millions. Yeah. Oh my! And Hardy with an enziguri and the nature boy caught in the temple. Whoop! Number two. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels thrived in every great, area of wrestling when making great his name on the WWE. Selling. Michaels would become known for his selling throughout his career. But like the others in this list, amongst the great selling, there were some heavily exaggerated mm -hmm. oversells. <laughs> Damn! Shawn Michaels was often the prototype of a WWE superstar that intentionally oversold. Oh, he sold that. Oh, yeah. And flipping over the top rope countless times. Yep. Oh, my goodness, over the top to the outside. Michaels was also known for taking a page out of Ric Flair's book by getting Irish whipped into the corner and flipping mm -hmm. up and over the turnbuckle to the floor. His most infamous over Oh, came yeah, bro. What he did with Hulk Hogan, he was... He took that shit to a whole nother level. He was being an ass. He wasn't liking how the direction of the booking was going. He was being a complete ass. In his match with Hulk Hogan at SummerSlam 2005, where he flopped around like a dying fish throughout the match. <laughs> there are better, more positive examples of the man selling in an overly dramatic fashion, and they're all awesome to watch. Mm -hmm. God damn. <laughs> Number one, Mr. Oh, Perfect. Mr. Perfect, Mr. Yeah. Perfect, Kurt Hennig became known for his selling more than anything mm -hmm. else when working against other credible talents in strong matches. Now Michael's really going after Mr. Look at Perfect. that, bro. Inverted, Look at that. Ric Flair may have put the concept of overselling on the map, but Mr. Perfect brought it to the forefront of the WWF. Mm -hmm. Inverted, atomic drop. Rudy, really going to work and roll around right now. <laughs> matches against Bret Hart, yep. Tito Santana, Ultimate Warrior, Bro. Hulk Hogan, Bro. Harry Von Erich, Look at that! <laughs> the 360 the in the air! Twisting and turning upside down several <laughs> times a match. At WrestleMania 6, Perfect sold like crazy for Brutus the Barber Beefcake. At SummerSlam 1991, despite being in quite intense pain due to a back injury, Perfect was keen to put Bret Hart over in a big way in front of a Madison Square Garden crowd. 
One of his most famous oversells was to Look receive at an that. Irish trip into the corner and then dramatically front flip out as if the impact had been too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Bink! Oh! <laughs> Even when his career was more limited, Hennig still did his best to thump around the ring. Win the title here tonight. Goldberg chops, if you will, in our sport. And right now, Hennig's not thinking of chops. God damn. Oh my God. He Hennig sold right to the steel steps. And that of a pioneer, as it would lead to future comparisons down the road for the other men on this list. Yep. That makes it hurt. <laughs> And for that reason, he has to top our list today. Oh, man. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this video. Oh, As man. always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Hey, y'all, man. Go go ahead and subscribe to Wrestling Flashbacks. This was a great video. I love this video. This had me rolling, bro. I love me some good, funny wrestling sales, even the oversells sometimes. I, I love it, bro. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite clip from this video. And who's your favorite wrestler to sell really well? Like, who's the wrestler you feel like is the great, like, one of the best at selling? It can be in the past. It can be in the present. Doesn't matter which company. The first person I can think of instantly is Ricochet. Ricochet is fantastic at selling moves. So that's the first person I can think of off the top of my head. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.